Hey guys, Larry from the Oregon Coast, it's July 22nd, and I'm going to do uh, another update here. This is my Cracky from the front, DWC, and my Compost T Hydroponics all the way there in the back. So we're going to start with Cracky well, here. I ended up having some heat issues here in my Cracky, there in my um, in the late afternoon sun, just really uh, bears down on this side here pretty pretty well. And uh, it was heating up pretty good, and the plant was just um, really having a hard time. So. Found a scrap piece of Tyvek on a job site and brought it home and it helped out quite a bit so it's looking really good so I'm swinging around did a little bit of pruning got some nice size well actually small size tomatoes compared to the other DWC well it's been about five or six weeks since I did the last water change and right now the water is coming I don't know if you can see it see that or not but I'm down to about three and a half inches there from the bottom so I'm gonna try to let this go as long as I can. Um, if the plant really starts struggling, then I'll add a little bit of water, but kind of curious to see uh, how far this thing will go down. Well, the cracky tomatoes are quite a bit smaller than the DWC. I think they're averaging, these are probably right around three ounces, maybe that smaller one, probably two ounces. But pretty much that's all I'm seeing. I'm not seeing anything really big. I'm gonna swing it around down here. They're all, and they're not looking very big, so. Lots of tomatoes, but they're all pretty small. I did do some pruning, trying to air out the plant a little bit, and hopefully uh, I was hoping that the plant would focus some of this energy towards making producing bigger tomatoes, but not really working. It's July 20th, and this is the third tomato I've had blossom and rot on my uh, cracky here, so. I'm hoping uh, having the white tie back around the bucket keep it a little bit cooler and I, I seem the plant seems to be uh, more happier with that uh, tieback wrap around it all right well I'm gonna show you a difference from the cracky to who's the DWC and these are good sized tomatoes probably a nice six ounce tomato really happy with the D DWC some really nice sized tomatoes and I'm hoping I can catch Brock at uh, I'm hoping this will hit a, a one pounder I Not got the sure. air, air compressor turned off for the video, so there's no bubbles in there right now. But you can see how the the pink bloom uh, nutrients I've been using uh, stain the roots. But the roots look really healthy. I'm really happy so far with the DWC. So I figured uh, when I first started this one, it would have done the best, and uh, so far it has. Done some uh, heavy duty pruning with this thing. So overall, I mean, that's when you guys are all over. Sorry about that. Overall, really happy with the DWC. And that's the compost tea. Um, really struggling. I had one branch break. It seems uh, it's having a hard time. So average size tomato is probably uh, two ounces, ounce and a half. Pretty small. Not a whole lot of tomatoes on this one, but um, it's struggling. I, I figured it'd do well. I knew the compost tea wouldn't wouldn't do as good as the DWC, and I was kind of curious how the, how it compared with the cracky. But uh, I was hoping to do a little bit better. But that's just the way it goes. July so. 21st and the first tomato winner here. So it's the compost tea hydroponics. So I don't know if you can tell, but the color is really dull. It's not red and shiny like the what you expect. And uh, pretty, uh, pretty small. Overall plant not looking so good. So hasn't really grown quite a while. So. Alright, we're we'll gonna harvest, harvest these tomatoes and, and do a quick way. Two and one eighth ounces. <laughs> Pretty small, that's a smurf size or hobbit size tomato there. And the other one, probably pretty close to the same. Nope, oh, that's the big one. Two and three eighths ounces. <laughs> Alright, you can see the color difference. This is my regular DWC hydroponics. That's the compost tea. You notice the dull red. Not very healthy looking. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to keep count of how many tomatoes each one produces and how much they weigh. And then my final video, we'll do the total count and just to kind of compare to see how uh, they all did. Alright guys, have a good one and take care.